In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to create a Zoom transition inspired by the Netflix intro. Hi guys, my name is Manuel. We'll recreate the shiny lines from the Netflix intro and make a transition out of them. Without any further ado, let's jump right in. All right, let's begin with a new comp. Name it Transition. 1920 by 1080 pixels, 3 seconds long. How do we approach something like that? First of all, let's get the overall timing of the transition right. We add a new solid, name it Mask In, color white, OK. At 8 frames, we set a scale keyframe. At the beginning, we set the Y value to 0. The animation is way too linear. So we select the two keyframes and open the graph editor and edit the speed graph. We slow down the beginning of the animation as far as possible. It's just the red line as we haven't animated the X value. The mask is closing the footage and the lines are gonna fly over it towards the camera. Then we need to reveal new footage of course, so we duplicate the mask in layer and rename it. Mask out. <laughs> Let's actually change the color for now to see what we're doing here. We offset it by 12 frames. And it seems a bit fast, so let's move the second scale keyframe to one second. That's better. Okay, that's the overall timing. Let's change that layer back to white. Next, let's add some footage. To videos or pictures or animations, whatever you have. We will move one below each mask. Then we set the track mat of the first footage file to invert Luma. The second one to Luma. Awesome! If the lines weren't still missing, right? But before, let's check out some amazing courses by Domestica. Learn to create motion graphics for social media. Alex shows you how to illustrate and animate a sticker pack in his incredible style and how to share the GIFs online. Combine a mix of 2D and 3D illustrations. And tell unique animated stories. Learn a bunch of different animation techniques that make you stand out. You've seen his awesome work on Instagram for sure. In his course, Mad Voice shows you how to animate letters in a unique, dynamic and fun way. From concept to design to animation and application. I've added the links to all the courses in the description. Use the code MANUALDESMOTION10 for an extra 10% off. Now, how do we create these lines with as little effort as possible? We add a new solid above the mask in layer. Name it line swan. Then we use the effects and presets window and add turbulent noise. Fractal type basic, noise type soft linear, contrast around 750. We open transform, deselect uniform scaling, set scale width to around 35, scale height to 5000. Awesome! Looks like lines, right? Let's move them by animating the scale of the solid. At the beginning, we set the y value to 0 and add a keyframe. At 23 frames, we set the scale to 2100%. Then we open the graph editor and slow down the beginning as much as possible. Seems like the lines fly towards the camera. Let's move the endpoint of the layer to one second. Next, we need to add some color. We add another solid below the lines one layer. Name it colors one and add some colors using the four color gradient. We need to set the track mat of the layer to luma mat. We use the lines as mask for the color layer. Let's adjust the colors and points. I go for some blue, orange, red combination. Not bad. We need some white light though. We move the endpoint of the colors layer to one second. Then let's duplicate the two layers. We set the contrast in the top layer noise effect to 1500. I quickly solo the layer so that you can see what happens. Brightness to minus 150, which means a lot less white lines. And let's change the colors into some very light and bright colors, which creates this nice shine. 
awesome. If you want the lines to look a bit more like geometric shapes, you could add mosaic to the line solid. And set horizontal blocks to something like 450, vertical blocks to 1, and check crop colors. I think we still need some more lines towards the end. We duplicate the four line and color layers, move them to the top, and 8 frames to the right. First of all, let's move the color points in the bottom gradient effect to set the lights apart from the first ones. Then let's have a look. I think the second part is too slow now. So let's open the two scale properties and change the two right Y values to 3000%. That's better. Let's change the evolution as well to, I don't know, minus 172 degrees. <laughs> the second one as well. The same value, roughly. I don't like the last frame before the lines disappear. Fixing it by adjusting the evolution. Alright. Next, let's reduce the amount of lines a little. By reducing the brightness of the turbulent noise even more to minus 210 maybe and minus 60. Mm -hmm. Don't like these white lights here at the end. So we adjust the evolution once more. Okay, better. I think it's still quite crowded around here. So let's set brightness keyframes for the first lines layers. Add 16 frames maybe. One and the other one too. We press U to see them in the timeline. Then we go to 23 frames and reduce the brightness to minus 210 and 70. Awesome, looking good. Much more black shining through. Although, let's move the keyframes a bit further to the left. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. On the left side, I've added some videos you might like. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and hit the bell, because you don't want to miss my next video. Thanks for watching this one, see you in the next one. Bye guys!